Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending this presentation. Um, so indeed, and I am Pascal Boncel, and I'm co-founder and COO of the company with my associate here, Amin, who is the, the CEO. Um, and I'm going to introduce you uh, to a new additive manufacturing technology that is enabling micronic and some micronic manufacturing. So the reason why we exist uh, li lies in a few words. Uh, you all know here that the future is driven by electronics, but we all, all think that is mostly driven by nanoelectronics and uh, that are designed with growing complexity and continual uh, miniaturization. And the problem is that manufacturers today, uh, either uh, industrials or academics, uh, don't have the possibility to assemble them. And this is here we come with a new technology. And here you have an illustration of what we provide with the deposition of silver ink with the resolution of one micron here. This is real-time recording on the silicon wafer substrate. And, um, and this, is, yeah, this is an illustration of our technology. And since you're asking for more, here's a second video of another use case we have where we do on-demand, if the video starts, on-demand interconnect here on PCB. Um, here we're drawing a silver pad and connected it uh, to a component on the PCB. Uh, here the resolution is around 10 micron and we're able to, uh, we're able to do this with, uh, with a unique uh, positioning precision on the, on the substrate. So now the question is how do we do this and what's under the hood? And so I'm introducing you to this uh, technology and we like to call it the smallest fountain pen in the world. Um, so this technology is derived from atomic force microscopy technologies and we basically replace uh, the traditional um, probe of an AFM by a nano capillary that is filled in with liquid and we replace um, the resonator of an AFM by a macro resonator that you can see here, that is this big tuning fork, um, th which um, which is big enough uh, for that the oscillation is not uh, the oscillation can can uh, sorry is is controlled and is not uh, um, uh, derived by the the weight of the nanocapillary that is uh, that is uh, placed on it. So we put uh, we stick the nanocapillary on the tuning fork and we place uh, the substrate on an X Y table that will come close to the oscillating pipette until the detection of the formation of a first drop that is formed by capillarity. And um, we detect the formation of this meniscus, we stabilize it, and thanks to a closed loop electronic, we stop the movement of the XY table, and we're able to uh, move on the XY axis uh, to be able to draw the pattern of our needs. Um, so what's interesting here is that it is a direct printing technology. Uh, there is no UV light, no metallic reaction, no, no specific reaction here, only capillarity that will work its magic and drag the liquid out of the pipette. Um, so this, uh, this combination of, of equipment offers a unique combination of features. S as we are very versatile, ab ab able to deposit any material on any substrate with a resolution that goes from 50 nanometers to 50 microns. Uh, the precision uh, here is 20 nanometer on XY uh, stage. Uh, this is directly linked uh, to the fact that we are derived from AFM technology, so we can position ourselves with this very high precision and a deposition rate up to 10 millimeter per second, as you saw in the initial video of silver printing. A second question you may have is what, what are the limitations to, the, to this technology? So uh, to be fair with you, I'm bringing the, all, the, all the common sense physical limitation that we have here. The first one is rheology, obviously, something that is too viscous will, will, will struggle to go out of the pipette. Uh, but we've been able to deposit inks with a viscosity up to 10,000 centipoise. Second is the particle size. Um, so we have this empirical conclusion that a particle size that is bigger than 10% of the diameter of the pipette uh, will jam the pipette. Um, and so that's why to be able to reach micronic and some micronic resolutions for metallic deposition, uh, we are developing our own inks with uh, metallic organic decomposition approaches that are particle free. Finally, the surface tension will play a role here in the deposition. Of course, the interaction will not be the same with a hydrophobic and or, or hydrophilic surface, uh, and this will play a role 